Hi, in this video I will show you how to measure coupling coefficients between two windings. So first I give you some theory and then we perform the measurement. So this video is about measurement. In a future video I will show you how to use analytical formula and also finite element model to calculate um, mutual inductance and coupling coefficients between windings. All right, let us start. Uh, first, uh, self-inductance. So if you have one coil, we say that flux is inductance multiply current and Faraday induction law says that voltage is d phi to dt. We take the derivative of this equation. Basically, we get V is equal L di to dt. So this is the equation for an inductor. Now, if you have multiple inductors, um, the flux that passes through first inductor can also pass through the other inductors. So there will be a certain amount of mutual inductance between them. So the voltage of the first winding or voltage of the second windings, they are not only dependent to their own current and own inductance, but also depend to the mutual inductance and the current of the other coils. So if there was only one, V1 would be L1 di to dt. But now that we have two, for example, V1 is L1 di1 to dt, plus or minus mutual inductance multiplied di2 to dt. And same way we have for the second coil. Now this plus and minus depends how these windings are wrapped and basically how they are impacting each other. So in order to identify this plus and minus, we have dot convention. So let us assume that positive polarity of voltage is where the current enters to the coil. So in this case, here current enters to the coil. So this is the positive polarity. Here current enters to the coil. This is the positive polarity. Under this condition, if both currents enters to the dots or if both currents exit from the dots then the sign will be positive so for this scenario for example both currents they enter to the dots therefore uh, the sign here is positive this is in time domain and we can of course write it in frequency domain which will look like this here i have another scenario so where the current enters to the coil we put it positive polarity here also current enter to the coil, we have the positive polarity. We can notice that in this case, I1 enters to the dot and I2 goes out of the dot. So if we would write the equation for these two coils, then the sign here would be negative because one of them enters and one of them goes out. Okay, so now for two coupled inductor, we have these equations. Now how to calculate the coupling coefficients. Coupling coefficients is defined by this equation, mutual inductance divided by a square root of L1, L2. And coupling coefficients is between 0 and 1. So we are going to perform two measurements. In the first measurement, we let the second coil be open. So if the second coil is open, obviously the current through the second coil is 0. This part will be eliminated. This part also will be gone because I2 is 0. So in this case, if we perform the measurement, let's say you connect your LCR meter to the uh, primary coil and there is a voltage and there is a current. Uh, so obviously this V1 is J omega LP I1. And from here, we can easily calculate LP V1 divided by J omega I1. This is what LCR meter does for you. So you will get the primary inductance. Of course, if you have an oscilloscope and proper measurement, you can also measure V2 here. And in that case, if you know I1 and if you know V2, you can also calculate mutual inductance and put it in this formula, basically to get the coefficients. But we want to perform the measurement using one LCR meter. So by making the secondary open and performing from the primary side, we can obtain the primary inductance. And if we do it opposite, we will get the secondary inductance. Now let's do another measurement. In this case, we short circuit the secondary and still we perform the measurement from the primary coil. So if the secondary is short circuited, it means that voltage is zero. So V2 is zero. If this one is zero, J omega, we can simplify it. And so I2 will be minus M divided by LS time I1. Now I can replace this one here. Basically, we will get to this equation. V1 is this equation. And you can factorize j omega comes out, i1 also comes out. So we will get to this. And now if we say v1 divided by j omega i1 like this, 
we will have this inductance. So this is an inductance that basically when the secondary is short circuited, we perform the measurement from the primary. It's equal to this. This one also we call it the leakage inductance. This measurement is very simple. You basically short circuit the secondary, you perform the measurement from the primary, and you will have this uh, inductance measured. All right, so if this one, we can perform the measurement, we just divide both sides by L primary. Okay, and then this one, we bring it to the left, and this one goes to the right, we get to this one. This one itself is a coupling coefficient power 2, so we take a square root of both sides. So coupling coefficients will be a square root of 1 minus L secondary shorted divided by L primary. Or the same way, you can do everything the other way around. So coupling coefficients can also be calculated as square root of 1 minus L primary shorted and divided by L secondary. So the measurement procedure is um, measure the primary inductance when the secondary is open. So this gives you LP. Measure primary inductance when the secondary is shorted. This gives you L short circuit secondary. And then using this equation, we can calculate the coupling coefficient. All right, so now I'm going to do the measurements on two different coils, and we see the value of coupling coefficients when we have a ferrite core and when we have an air core. All right, so I have two setup. One of them is these two windings. Uh, it's air core. And then the other one is this one. I'm going to measure the coupling coefficients between these two windings. Okay, so the primary inductance of this winding is 287.7 microhenry um, at 100 kilohertz. I'm doing the measurement, and if I short circuit the secondary, so this is LP, is that L short circuit secondary is 1.854 microhenry. So from these two numbers, I can calculate the coupling coefficient. I will do the calculation later. So this is for this winding. And now I'm going to measure the air core. So this one has an inductance, the primary one is 0 0.931 microhenry and if I short circuit the secondary then L short circuit secondary will be 0 0.903 microhenry okay so from these numbers I can actually calculate the coupling coefficient okay so here is the final results for this case with the ferrite core between these two windings the coupling coefficient is 0 0.99677 it's almost one and for this case it's two turns each each winding separated with a distance of maybe four centimeter and the coupling coefficient is 0 0.1734 Alright, that's all for this video. Bye.